Hello, second grade parents. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody has a checklist. So we're going to go through a second grade checklist for mathematics at home right now. So if you are at home, you want to be making sure most mostly that their addition is completely set. They should be 100% on all their addition problems, no matter how long the problem is. Make sure to be introducing five and six digit addition problems, as well as uh, 50 digits. If you, if you want them to have some type of a reward system at home, you can have 50 digits over 50 digits and just add them. I'm not even sure papers have, maybe we'll go with 20 digits. They should be able to add anything and everything. Uh, subtraction, we want to make sure it is the most difficult operation out of all of them, in my opinion. You want to make sure that they are borrowing properly, that they are carrying properly, they have everything set up when it comes to subtracting, let's say 500 minus 346, making sure that they understand how many zeros to cross out, the nines. Uh, if you can get that and practice it, drill it as much as possible at home, it is the thing that actually stumps seventh and eighth graders when they are taking their SHSAT and specialized high school tests. They have this, they just have one question that'll be a massive subtraction problem and an enormous amount of them will get it incorrect. I know, very difficult to, to wrap your head around it, but subtraction is a difficult subject. Make sure you're practicing that with your second graders. Um, also make sure they're practicing in columns. I would highly suggest working on graph paper for everything that has to do with math in the lower um, age groups, because later on they will develop the organizational skills they need and you can reinforce that organization. I always say 50% of mathematics is organization. So make sure that they're organized. On top of that, we want to also make sure that they continue with their measurements, their place values until 1000 is what's necessary. I would suggest getting their place values into the millions, just making sure that they understand the pattern of tens, hundreds, over and over, so it's ones, tens, hundreds. Uh, the best thing to do would be just to stretch it out every single day so that they have a larger and larger number that they need to say properly. And if you have a bunch of numbers, you can just type them out on your calculator on your phone and ask them to say these numbers properly. Or you can put a, uh, a bunch of digits in a row and ask them to put the commas in the proper places and then to properly label those place values. So that's important as well. The most important thing I would say for second grade is really, and this is sad, but introduction of multiplication and division because third grade is when things start to matter in the US system because of state tests. So before that, they're not really reinforcing. Uh, second grade mathematics is extremely easy in front of third and fourth grade. So I would suggest just trying to reach as much as you can into the third grade curriculum. And you could just go on to the next video where I show the third grade checklist and maybe try to introduce a few of those topics. If you have trouble introducing those topics, there is no reason why you shouldn't just contact us. You can always email us and we'll try to either give you worksheets or you can, of course, just sign up for a specific session. Even a few sessions introducing the topic will be easy. After the child understands them, then you can go home and just give them practice problems over and over and they can do those at home. Uh, if you need any more checklists, just know this is going to last a little bit longer than schools even think probably. Um, I highly doubt that the April 20th date will be reinforced because of what we are seeing overseas. So please keep track of everything that your child is doing when it comes to math. Uh, I already have students who are have lower percentages on their division from two weeks ago because the entire mess has taken up everybody's time. I mean, everybody's just talking about this all day. So please keep track of everything. Keep in contact with us. Sign up for anything you need to sign up for. We are booking up very quickly. So just make sure that you contact us. If you want worksheets, we can just shoot those out to you for free. Anything that you need, just call us. Okay. Bye-bye.